articulated spine flies using bee chain as the center core. This is an example of a holographic, trilobal holographic body with a full fox head. Here's your standard. This is a DC Dodger with a CCT body. Here's another one. That's our hackle flash with a CCT body head. The thing you have to realize is that the different materials will make the fly react differently in the water so they have a completely different action. This one here is a combination of CCT body fur, a faux fox brush, highlighted with hackle flash. So anyway, the whole idea is being able to make a body that actually swims. These are 100% articulated, not compared to the game changer. Okay, this is the first example we're going to use. Again, this is a CCT body head and a hackle flash uh, articulated body. Doesn't take a lot. Okay, this is a combination of the CCT body with a full fox tail material and a little Copic marker for coloring. So here goes. Same fly again. Easy, little tips, little strips. As you can tell, it dodges around from like crazy. Okay, this is a combination of a DC Dodger head painted with Copic markers and a CCT body. Uh, by the way, all of these, the bead chain I use on all of these is made from stainless steel. So you can fish them almost anywhere. So let's Here's a little better action, a little faster strip, more walk the dog action in it. Doesn't take a lot. All it says is come and get me. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is another version using trilobal tri hackle and the CCT uh, faux fox. And if I didn't mention all these flies, I use an open uh, loop knot. So here, let's try this one. You can tell the trilobal really gives it a lifelike motion. There you go again. By the way, I'm using a six weight rod. They're not really that hard to cast. Just make sure you have an open cast, not a real tight loop. It'll be a good color combination from steelhead and snook and redfish. And throwing today, this is a kind of like a slider. It's done with Copic markers, CCT body for the uh, articulated uh, body, and it's kind of an interesting fly. Doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. A little faster strips. Kind of swims along. And this fly can also be tied with a weed guard as well. Here we go. There he is again. Slow and easy. This is done. This, this action is done by just using a rod tip. Very erratic. Okay, this is one for the road. Again, the uh, tri-level hackle for the body. This particular fly has a uh, stinger hook on it, which I'll show you how to do later on, and a full fox head. Kind of easy sliding. Big pike would eat this in a heartbeat. We have a lot of action. More like a snake. You gotta remember, change your retrieve. It'll do different things. 